And now test retry has been built into Maven Surefire and Failsafe for a while. Um, and Grail has recently introduced a new test retry plugin. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about that. So here's an example of applying the new Gradle's test re retry plugin. You know, there are three especially neat things about it that uh, I haven't seen many other places. The first thing is you have control over whether the build passes or fails after the flaky test is encountered. What this means is that you can detect flaky tests and not silently ignore them if you so choose. So I would recommend if you adopt this, you start by saying, we're still sensitive to flaky tests. We just want to know how many flaky tests we have. So you set fail on passed after retry to true. Um, you can disable the test retry after a discrete number of test failures. So you won't waste time if there's 42 test failures. There's obviously a major problem causing many tests to fail. For example, if the database just isn't running, you don't want to re-retry all those tests again. Finally, the tests are retried at a method level or finer. Uh, other systems often collect just the test classes and rerun the whole classes. It's much faster to, to run individual methods, especially for tests with many methods. So the Gradle test retry plugin is an official new plugin from Gradle. It supports Gradle 5.0 and above. It works out of the box with JUnit 4 and JUnit 5, Spock, and TestNG. And please file an issue if it doesn't support your test framework yet. You know, the more votes, we will, we will get to it. Um, and there's a link there. You know, just go to github.com slash gradle slash test retry gradle plugin. And there will be a link at the end.